In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Stiff ran what I believe to be one of the best up-and-coming offenses in Madden 21, and I think you can learn a lot from his video. Even though he didn't win, I thought his offense actually kind of got cheated a little bit, and I thought it played a lot better than the scoreboard showed. So if you've never met me before, my name is Cody, and I'm. it's great to meet you. I hope you enjoy the video that we're about to dive into. My channel is all about helping you get better as a Madden player, and so if you're looking to get better at Madden, go ahead and click that subscribe button we upload tips and tricks videos every single day to help you improve both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball uh, basically we upload about eight videos every day so you should be able to learn at least one or two things a day from us and uh, and hopefully uh, we're able to help you we've helped a lot of people get better at the game so all that to say make sure to subscribe let's dive in here now stiff was running I believe the New York Giants offensive playbook. But the primary play that he was using the majority of the game was a play that ironically was actually ran against him um, in his Bears Club Championship. And the Bears Club Championship stiff faced uh, Canes, and Canes literally ran gun bunch tight end PA boot over almost every single play. And so stiff actually took a page out of Canes' book and actually came out in this tournament with that bunch tight end offensive scheme so we're going to break down just one little nugget of it a couple of pieces of it that i think are really really critical for you to understand and uh, let's just dive right into practice mode over here and we'll talk about how this was i believe one of the better offenses in the entire game so um you can find this but this this play um you could find this in several different playbooks one of the playbooks that i actually really like it from is the raiders playbook now stiff runs it out of the jets playbook because it has a special play called tight end corner i actually run it out of the raiders playbook because it has a play called curl flat corner and i'd rather have curl flat corner than tight end corner but they're both very similar so uh anyways what you want to do is you want to put your best slot receiver in the slot then the next play, you want to put your best route runner on the outside if possible. And then obviously we've got Mike Evans here, and then we've got the tight end. Now the audibles that we're going to set for this scheme, it's actually a really simple scheme. You really don't have to set anything, but I like to put X spot in my audibles. And the last thing is I like to force myself, because I know how incredibly good this play is, I like to force myself to come out and PA boot over every single time just so that I run it more. You don't have to do that. The two plays we're going to go over today are we're going to go over curl flat, corner, and PA boot over. These are two of my favorite plays in the entire game. Now, you don't have to run this to one hash or the other side. It really, I mean, it does matter a little bit, but if you had to prefer one, I would prefer to run it to the right hash. But you really want to run this offense to the side of your quarterback because you want to be able to roll out. Um, that does help the scheme a little bit. So the first thing I want to go over is man coverage. And this was Stiff's basic setup. Literally all you do is delay fade the tight end. That's it. Just delay fade the tight end. And what you'll notice is if you roll out here and they start chasing you, once they start chasing you, you can hit this delay fade, right? We all probably know that by now, at least if you've watched any of my channel, I've talked about this as being one of the best ways to beat man-to-man -man coverage. And this is really good because man-to-man -man coverage is what a lot of people will run. And so literally all you're going to do, you're going to roll out, and throw it to him. Now, Henry actually found this, and this was um, one of the best little tools that he uses. Now, the cool part about this is it also beats zone coverage because a lot of zone coverages will actually fall away from this. Let me show you an example of that. A lot of people like to run this, um, this, this cover three Mabel type of coverage here. And what you'll notice is if I run that cover three Mabel, if I see zone, I don't even have to roll out. I'll just release the tight end. And look at how open, look at all that open grass and able to get about 15 to 20 yards, which Stiff actually did that uh, in a key moment in the game. So you have that delay fade. Now the other thing that you have is you have this paired with some of the best routes in the entire game. Um, you have a skinny post to Antonio Brown, right? You have uh, a crossing route. You have all of these really, really good routes. This route to Mike Evans, I actually typically will actually turn it into a drag route. You don't have to do that. Um, I just like to because I think the drag works a little bit better against zone. But if it's man coverage, one of the other things that's really cool about this play is typically Mike Evans won't get pressed uh, unless they're running like dime 146 or something. He's not going to, and even if they are running dime 146, I don't think he gets pressed. So because they don't press him out of man coverage, it makes a big difference in his ability to beat man coverage. And honestly, one of the other things that you could do with this is just simply put him on a slant route. Um, this slant route is really, really good too. It just it, the one issue that it, it, it might have for you is sometimes it gets a little bit too congested with the crossing route. 
but it works really, really well. Now the next route I want to go over is the crossing route to Chris Godwin. Um, this crossing route is really, really good against man-to-man -man as well. Um, now right here, sometimes the press coverage will um, will mess with it a little bit as if your if your receiver doesn't have um, the route running threshold of over 90. Chris Godwin does not have over 90 route running, so that's probably why. If they don't press coverage like if they're shading over top he'll beat it every single time but here you'll see i mean right there he's able to get the separation and then the last route that i want to cover against man-to-man -man coverage on this play is this route to uh antonio brown now you could do a lot with this route you can play maker it you can smart route it you can do all kinds of things but at the end of the day it just beats man coverage it, it, it beats man coverage all day long it's one of the best post routes in the entire game because it's so it's so deep and it comes from a compression set, which is really, really unique. And as you'll see right here, it just beats man coverage on the inside. That's the, all there is to it. Um, now, if you wanted to, you can actually, like, let's say that you wanted to get Antonio Brown to be unbumpable. And when you have a hot route master quarterback, um, like most people do right now in the game, um, this is going to help a lot. But you can just simply motion him to the outside, and it's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage that way as well. Now, the next play that I want to go over is one of my favorite compliments to this play because really what you're doing by PA boot over is you're flooding everything to the right side. With curl flat corner, you're going to flood everything to the left side. And all I'm going to do is I'm simply going to smart route Chris Godwin. I'm going to take Antonio Brown and put him on a post or a, a streak route. And then with Gronkowski, you can do two things. You could either put him on a delay fade or you can put him on a post route. Either one of those or a curl even. Um, these all work really, really well. Um, one of the other things that I like to do is maybe put the running back on a little angle route. Um, you know, you, there's so much you can do with this, but really you can do whatever you want to on the on the tight end side. Uh, all kinds of different route combinations, option routes, things like that. But let me focus in here and show you this route to Chris Godwin. This route to Chris Godwin, I'm going to go ahead and say it. It's the best corner route in Madden. It's the best corner route in the entire game. And it does such a good job at getting open against man and against zone coverage. So you'll notice here, if I go to this consistently, let's say they run cover two, right, to try to have somebody out there, you'll notice that this is not going to work for them. They're not going to be able to stop this play. You'll see, pass lead that up, click on, swerve catch it, and you're going to be able to beat that zone coverage. So that curl flat play is a simple flood play, but it basically... Again, remember, you were flooding to the right. Now you're flooding to the left, and you really force them to have to kind of, you know, essentially guard everything within this within this play. So that's why I like this bunch tight end a lot. I think Stiff did a great job in the game. Um, if you can master these two plays right here, bunch tight end is one of the best offenses in Madden. And I'm actually working on a episode of our text message membership, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically where you can get high-level Madden schemes for completely free, and they are pretty much as good as full ebooks that you would buy. A lot of people have picked it up from me. It's completely free to get it. All you got to do is text the number in the top left-hand corner. That's my cell phone number. Um, but basically what you do is you text me. I shoot you the playlist. And it's right now we've got about 12 videos in it covering big nickel over G, nickel 335 wide, gun bunch offset from Carolina, trips tied in from Raiders, uh, the Patriots, U trips, all kinds of high level Madden schemes, right, that you've seen in the MCS. Almost every scheme in the MCS we've covered in the text message membership for you guys completely. And these aren't just eight minute videos, these are hour, hour and 15. They're in depth and show you the whole scheme. And I'm actually working on that right now for this bunch tight end. So go ahead and text me so you can make sure that you can get that video when it's released. It should be released um, probably within the next week or so. Um, the bunch tight end, I think, is going to really, really take over the meta. Uh, if it hasn't already done that, it's a very, very good offense. It's very difficult to stop. And if you can really put the pieces together, especially with a hot route master quarterback, it makes it borderline unguardable. I think it's one of the most fun offenses that I've ever used. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to text me so you can get that and hope you enjoyed it. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So make sure to come by, hang out, say what's up. If you want to play Madden, you can also text me and let me know that. Um, but anyways, shoot me a text message. Make sure you don't miss out on that bunch tight end uh, mini scheme that we've got coming out. And other than that, guys, we'll see you in, uh, in the stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.